station of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 341, NASDAQ's off 110, SP's off 50, gold contract up uh, $4, traded 1856 an ounce. You have silver down 11 cents, $22, 6 cents an ounce, light sweet crude. Up three dollars, one twenty-two forty-three. That baby's going for that one forty-seven, folks. That's the that's the high. It's up in air right now. It's not well. It's not up in air. I mean, but it's over. There's, there's only one number left. Is that one forty-seven? Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down ten ticks, trading one eighteen oh three. The thirty-year off a full point at one thirty-seven flat. And King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up two hundred twenty-seven ticks, one oh two five forty. Euro 107, yen 134.12, and the British pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's bring the SPY up first. The bottom line is that, you know, what we've, what we've had out here for the last seven days, uh, trading days, is you've been in a consolidation. Uh, bottom line, you know, if we just go from uh, last Friday, last Friday, uh, what you did out here is that, you know, you try to get higher, couldn't get higher, closed lower. Yesterday, we had a rejection of lower price. We had light of volume. And guess what, man? This is a mind blower, folks, that the SPY couldn't hit 417 today. We got 415.82. That, to me, that says it all, man. That's the bottom line. What you have here is that you got next to it. You're coming down, you, so you, you actually try to get to a higher high, and you're going to have lighter volume. We have 42 million now. You did 59 yesterday. We'll probably end up with 52, 55, somewhere in there. We look at the NDX 100. It's the same type of setup in the NDX. It's pretty amazing that it couldn't get up just a little bit higher. Uh, NDX, bottom line, is that you get over the highs of yesterday. The high of yesterday inside the queues was at uh, 310.67. We made it to a 3.11. We had volume of 44 million, which is light volume, and we're at 31 now. So, bottom line, you're not going to do 11 million in an hour when you've done 30 million all day. You know, we'll, we'll probably do seven, but bottom line, it's going to be a failure in volume, failure in price. That says that, you know, we're getting set up for the CPI. And my take is that this number, the bottom line, was going to get us down to this 280 pretty quick. Um, so, Gold. Gold contract out here. Rejected lower price again. What gold and platinum have been doing is that they've been basically consolidating also, getting down into the you know bottom of the consolidation, rejecting lower price. We rejected it yesterday. Uh, didn't get quite to the low today. Rejected uh, at 1846. You're trading out here at 1855. Um, it's a good setup, man. That's the bottom line. You know, uh, when I say it's a good setup, 
particularly because you still have the dollar. So look at this. The, the dollar is still at a high price. The aspect, however, is that this looks like a, a nice ABC structure down to me. And if it is, you're going to have an ABC down in this 99 area. Because what we had done is this. You couldn't hold price yesterday. Today, it's barely holding price. Uh, the number we would have to close over is like 200 ticks higher. It would be 102,731. Bottom line, having a hard time holding those prices. Notes and bonds, they continue to want lower price, higher yield. What we got in the note and bond market out here is that you got to a lower low yesterday. It rejected lower price yesterday. Now, this is, so when you look at markets and put them together, folks, right? The bond market is really important for all the markets. But when I look at this bond market right now and say that, okay, the 10-year yesterday rejected lower price, it had lighter volume, so that had a chance also to go higher. What ends up happening? That fails, as does the S&P, as does the NDX 100. You, start, you put that together, and that is showing us just how weak a market that we actually have. That's kind of... You know, when you're looking at the bigger ball, that's how it works. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and this will be a low volume market. You get Advanced Micro up 360, you get Apple down 74 cents, Intel's off 244, Nvidia's off three bucks. Uh, you get Robinhood off 31 cents. You get uh, Exxon Mobil up a buck. DraftKings is up $1.29. One of the big deals out here, this is gonna get really interesting. I, I suspect, you know, Gensler wants to get this done, but I don't think it's the amount of money that is in Wall Street that get paid for order flow, folks. Um, this is going to be pretty wild. So Gary Gensler, okay, SEC chief, uh, chief regulator, um, you know, is basically setting up a sweeping change of rules underpending the U.S. stock market. And one of the biggest ones that he is setting up for is paid for order flow. Now, listen, for all, you know, there's going to be a million different um, folks coming out in Wall Street saying, oh, that means retail traders are going to have to be the, they're going to pay more and all this. That's a bunch of garbage. The bottom line is that paid for order flow is a joke, um, you know, and it shouldn't be out there. You can just see the, the biggest firms in the world basically pay for order flow. They pay for every single order flow so they can just cross the order flow. And we cross the order flow. And when you're talking, you know, pennies, dimes, well, they're talking pennies. It adds up to billions of dollars every day. And there's no doubt that that whole system uh, has built some huge um, companies. Robinhood in particular. Robinhood in particular, <laughs> bottom line, uh, they will have a problem staying in business if, in fact, paid for order flow goes south. You know? Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 300. You get the NASDAQ off 94. S&P's off 45. You get gold up 370. Oil's the number, man. Oil's up three bucks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. DFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is uh, down 290. Nasdaq's off 95. S&Ps are off uh, 45. Let's go into the NQs and second look at this because what you're going to see here, when we talk about these 10-minute charts, the put this back. Okay, so what you have here is this. Okay, you can see the last 10-minute bar, okay, had uh, 11,000 contracts. Now, 11,000 was going into the 13,000. That was low of the day. Couldn't handle it. But this is the one I want you to look at, right where we're on? We're already nine, no, eight minutes into this bar, and it's not holding price. That's telling me, because so this bar got to a price point of uh, 628, and we're at 615, right? The volume is gonna contract, well, we'll see, now it's at 19, but it, it's, yeah, the volume's gonna contract. Bottom line, you're not gonna hold price, so that means you're gonna go right after the swing low again of the low of the day. The, the low of the day has that bar, meaning the higher volume bar, 579. So this is gonna be, uh, let's see, what time is it? It's 319. Go look at the S&Ps, the E-minis, they do the same thing. And this, on this contract, we take a look at the contract. That's down 42.75 right now. Pull this over. And you can see that first bar. Okay, so the big bar has 38,000, we came down at 31. Now, it's interesting, so the little divergence, the S&P's holding price here. So this bar is gonna stop any second. Um, now that, let me just pull back over the NQs and see if that has held. Because the, now the NQs aren't holding, interesting then, okay. So you get a little divergence. So when you have divergence like that, folks, what you're looking at is that you realize that, okay, the NDX 100 is still weaker than the S&P 500. That's how I look at that when, you, when you're looking at, you know, one of the indices held, the other one didn't. Um, now, we're bisecting and dissecting this on 10-minute charts, okay? So, yeah, it's, you know, it's in there, but I'm just trying to get you some pathways into, into the 4 o'clock area here. Um, you know, yeah, you're going to look at larger charts for, you know, whether it's dailies, weeklies, monthlies, okay? Uh, the problem with big long charts, though, is that you got to wait a long time to see whether they're right or not, which is could be a huge problem. There's no doubt about that. Platinum. Let's go look at the platinum uh, market because the platinum, what it's done twice is that at a thousand two, we've got a rejection of price of lower price. So if we take a look at this right now, you're going to see. Let's see where do we go today. Okay, it's not going to give me platinum on that one. There we go. Platinum.
Okay, so we got to 998 today. You did 15,000 contracts. Yesterday was 1,002. Both rejected it, and you're going into 22,000 contracts. So you can see at this level, the bottom line is that this still wants higher price. You know, it came off the bottom with strength, you know, basically got into that swing point of uh, the 1,026 with strength. So that's saying this is building cause right now to get up into this uh, area of this uh, 1187. And of course, you know, most of that, platinum's moving even without the dollar basically pulling back. But I said, I suspect most of that, you know, is really going to move when we see the dollar move. And, you know, we'll see whether it moves the right way. Now, let's go over and take a look at the yen because now the yen, folks, okay, the few times that I've seen the Bank of Japan intervene, these markets, meaning the metals markets, have gone to the moon. Because when they intervene and they make the yen stronger, um, you see some action in a monster way. I'm just, I keep putting this back. I got it back 30 years right now. Let's see, 135. So we're back at 2002 levels. Let me see how far I got to go back to. I'll put this on a 50-year quarterly now. Look at this, man. Okay, so you're over 135, 134. Well, just depends. I mean, <laughs> 147 is the next move after this. And if that's what we get, pretty intense. It's, it's pretty intense that the gold market hasn't cracked in an incredible way. That's what's pretty intense when, when I actually look at the aspect of where we are inside of the gold market. You know, um, it's, the, the contract itself is in good shape. Let's go into the silver market. We take a look at silver. Z-S-I-N. One second. There we go. Silver out here. Okay, so silver's down nine cents. You're trading 2208. That's a nice setup. Okay, so you got another rejection out here. You know, the, the, the metals right now are basically saying that the dollar is going to basically get to lower price. So you can see this yesterday. We rejected lower price yesterday at the uh, 2230. No, 2184 rather, sorry, 2184. Today you rejected at 2174. You know, you had, you had lighter volume. You're going into volume that has uh, 67,000 contracts. Yesterday you did 51, today you're doing 39. Same type of setup. It, but in both cases, what we do need is that we need a sign of strength. And I suspect what you're going to get on that sign of strength, okay, is the aspect of uh, when the CPI comes out, um, you know, we'll see which way the CPI goes, but uh, <coughs> that is going to move some markets, folks. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, when we take a look at it, you have, uh, actually, let's go look at ExxonMobil, because ExxonMobil, I believe, is hitting an all-time high. We take a look at Exxon. Yep, yesterday had some nice volume on it. We pull this up. That's quite a chart, man. Yeah, it's hitting an all-time high. Just broke an all-time high. Right, right at it, actually. 104.76. Now, look at this, folks, okay? This is what you want to look at. So check this out. This is, now I'm doing this workshop Friday from 9 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's a, you know, time of the trade workshop. Price, volume, the whole gig of what I do every day. I want you to look at this, though. This, this is telling me Exxon is going to basically break out of this whole area, and I'll show you why. So here's the highs. See the last time we were up there? The last time we were up there was in 2014, right? You had 189 million shares at the high. When you're pushing into this high, we start pushing into this high with 600, no, 850 million shares. Last month we did 600 million shares versus 187. This is going to blow this thing apart, man. You'll blow over that, and we blow over that. Then, holy cow, you, you are talking about some numbers here, man, um, in a big way. We go over to that oil market, and what is screaming on this oil market, folks, is that 
I believe it's the 147 that's hanging out there. We went, we're at 147, and then I believe we went, went down to what? Minus 40. Pull this back. Come on. Come on, computer. You're being a little too slow right now. There it is. Okay, so. Yeah, 147. 147 is it, man. You get the next swing, small swing is 130. But this wants this this wants to go up and see its friends at 147. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down at 228. You get the NASDAQ off 71. S&Ps are off uh, 36. Let's go uh, inside the Dow Industrials and see the strength versus the weakness. Uh, inside the Dow right now, point-wise, this is what you have. You have putting points into the Dow, uh, Salesforce putting 18 points, Caterpillar 15, Nike 7. Taken away from it, uh, Goldman Sachs minus 44, United Health minus 27, Home Depot minus 22, Big Mac minus 19. Let's go to our man, George in Tampa. Hey, George, what's going on? It's going good so far. That's a beautiful <laughs> thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm calling about rig. Okay. Uh, RIG. I got in it last month, and originally I was going to just make a trade out of it, but it looks like it wants to go higher, and I just wanted to have your thoughts on it. That's right. You stay right there. This is Transocean, folks. Bottom line, you had a huge sign of strength yesterday. You had the wide price spread, accelerated volume, went from 415, 482. What that was about is that they got an extension of a contract uh, that in this extension, this is what's so intriguing about the extension. Uh, also, folks, the extension 
uh, goes out and it doesn't even start until like uh, t it starts in October 2023 and goes to April of 2025. So the bottom line is that what rigged, what Transocean does, they are not only, you know, bottom line, a deep well driller, but they're a deep well driller, folks, like whether it's in the Bering Sea, no matter what seas you're in, that are very tough. Um, and there, when the price of oil is this big, I mean, realistically, the way rig had traded, uh, it, it really kind of looked like that oil would never go back up. Because when you take a look at rig, um, I think it went down to $3. One second. It went from, yeah, it went from $163 Oh, down to a dollar eight. Okay, <laughs> um, but yes, George, you're in a good position, man. I'd stay right there. I think so. The reason, you know, when I was just saying about when the extension on the rig, it starts in 2023 and goes to 2025. What will mm -hmm. happen with oil at these prices? If the oil companies think that these prices, let's say, could stay at a hundred, never mind, you know, this 120 and 150. You will see rig get a huge amount of business because what will end up happening is that the large oil companies will say, okay, I will start dig, uh, drilling deep water again. You know, what happens, folks, is that there's huge amounts of oil in deep water. The problem is that the rigs cost so much money and it costs more to get them out of the water. But what does also happen is that when you get $120 a barrel, well, guess what, man? You want as many wells open as you can. So that's what, that's what you're seeing out here. Um, so I, what yeah, you're saying is deep of the year or so, huh? Oh, yeah, man. I'd stay right there. <laughs> I mean, let, let's look at it again. Because you, you have a swing high it wants to trade to right now. That swing high is 556. But I have a feeling that you're going to see rig a lot higher than this, man. Uh, I used to, in 1998, I used to trade the stock all the time. I love the stock. Um Originally, that's where I had a sell order in, and I canceled it. <laughs> yeah, good. That's all right. That's all right. This is this is. Yeah. Let me just show you a difference. Wait to see this. They let me see if they have their projections up. Because the difference yeah, I of can't even, I can't get on today. I can't get the internet. <laughs> I see. So the difference. Well, I guess the difference is not they. They haven't put that much of a difference up yet. They're taking in six hundred and fifty million every ninety days. They're only looking for six ninety one. You know, next quarter. So. They don't have a difference just yet inside of their numbers, fundamentally. But, you know, this, if oil stays up at these prices, you're going to see a lot of contracts. You're going to see a lot more rigs that are out there. And, of course, it's always a supply and demand issue. And um, in the commodity business, they can price it up very quick. And, of course, it gets priced down very quick the other side, too. But I would stay right there, George. I know it's going to take a while, but it should get back at least in 25 range or something like that. So, I don't know uh, if we get to 25. I mean, that's 400% from where it is, right? <laughs> that's 500%. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, you yeah, that, you know, listen man. Um, uh, it is the, the, uh, the price that they actually get, you know, for rigs is that bizarre, folks, meaning that it can go from 10,000 a day, you know, all the way up to 150, 160,000 a day. And we're talking a day for a rig, you know, for deep water rig. So. And I suspect what we're going to see, George, coming out the, you know, next week, two weeks or whatever, you'll start seeing the rigs priced, meaning on the headlines out here. Because as soon as, yeah. as soon as rigs start going up again, folks, what ends up happening is that the pricing of the rigs actually gets pushed out there, you know, so. Cooking, brother. Uh, do you, have, you got time to check one more? Absolutely. Uh, C-R-O-N. Let's say, is this Cronus? Yeah, Cronus Group, okay. Yep. Let's, uh, the, okay, this is the cannabis business. The low is $2.80, the high is nine forty two. They take in right now 28 million a quarter, approximately. They're still gonna lose money as far as you can see in the future. That's what they're telling us. Okay, so let's take a look at this. These pot stocks, there's no doubt, have absolutely got smoked, and there's not a, well. Well, the only reason I got it, they got almost a billion dollars in cash, and they only had a few million in debt, and. Well, 
Yeah, I'd stay right there, man. I mean, you know, the, the bottom line, what, what I do like about this, I can tell you this, is they get a high volume high at 25, man. When you get a high yeah. volume high, it likes to go back and test it. Now, the problem with that, folks, it's real easy saying that. The problem is you never know when they're going to go back and test it. <laughs> and, That's correct. Yeah, and what, so what happens is this. Like, this is still in a downtrend. Is it, well, it's been going sideways now for four months, five, actually six months you can make. Yeah, six months. Yes, from $3, yeah, 312 was six months ago. Yeah, so that's six months. It's, it's, well, it's actually on the seventh month right now. As you can see, there's no sellers. So, yeah, I'd stay right there. In fact, this might be a really good trade, man. You, you, well, you I bought and fished on it. I didn't know if I'd get it or not. I put a bid in at 278 and I got it, uh, was it Monday morning before the market opened. Well, you uh, know what, Judge? That thing might be growing as a Goliath Cooper. You might you might have yourself a big Goliath grouper on there, man. Uh, Cook it, brother. All right. Have a great all one, right, man. Have a safe you. one. If yeah, you've yeah. never seen a Goliath grouper, folks, okay, Google it. They're unbelievable. We have them out in the Gulf of Mexico out here. They're protected species. Uh, they should be. But they, <laughs> I can't even imagine how much off the bottom of the uh, ocean they must eat because they are huge. And, you know, you, anyway. I think that's what he has to say. That's Cronus. That's interesting, that Cronus, though, in a, in a big way. Because you have a high-volume high, high um, you have no sellers, and it's been going sideways for six months. The, the biggest problem, of course, is that in that business, let's go, uh, let's see, CGC, right? That's a Canopy. Let's see what they're doing. Is that it's a weed, man, right? That You can grow it. Everyone, everyone can grow it. Well, everyone can't grow it, but... There's plenty of states that it's legal to grow it. Yeah, look at this. It's still on a one-way trip down. Uh, yeah, it's, this is not going to be the you know, deal that most, most folks actually thought, I'd say. You know, they, see that though? But Canis, you know, CGC also has a high volume high. So you know what? This is not over. It's not over, man. When you get high volume highs like this, went from $59 down to 4 you know, if I, I always remember, trust me, Amazon. <laughs> when Amazon went down 90, 95%, and then you see what happens, that is a heads up in spades, and you better always remember that. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, down 210, NASDAQ is off 60, S&P's uh, down 34. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 240. You get the NASDAQ off 72. S&Ps are off 38. And, you know, the market's trying to struggle it back here, no doubt. But uh, let's go take a look at it because uh, that last 10-minute bar just had a failure. And, you know, it had a good spike, uh, but what it was going against, okay, just couldn't handle it. So here we go here. So you're going against the bar on the way down at 1230, which had... 14,000, is that 14 or 140? One second. Yeah, 14,000 contracts. We got up there with 11. You know, bottom line, you closed underneath it. So this is, the, this is where the struggle is going to take place right here. And it's the, at the 651 mark. And right now, 653 mark, it's on the NQs, and we're at 640. When I'm saying that those numbers, folks, what I'm doing is just giving you the last three digits. Let's go to Rich in Oregon. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Hey, Tom, thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. How you been, man? Uh, not too bad. Good. Um, considering uh, waiting for spring to come out here, we're getting a lot of rain. Wow. Waiting for spring. Yeah. I think you better come <laughs> we're, on we're down waiting with us. for spring. <laughs> <laughs> I'd I, like to dry out. I bet you would. You, you know what's so funny about that saying, Rich, for us in Florida? is that like the weather's always great so it's kind of weird and especially because i'm out of boston but i've been here 25 years and even my friends call me and you know my relatives and they say wow man like it's just tough i hope you i hope you get a spring man it's because yeah that blue sky is incredible there's no doubt you know things won't grow uh, exactly and you need food that's right and yeah you need good looking things so we're going to look at the this energy stock right Yes, I'm in it. The reason I'm in it is because they're a refiner. Yeah, and exactly. I've right. heard you talking that nice. everything yeah. was great, couldn't be better, but yep. there's not very many refiners around. No. And in order to build a refinery, folks, okay, you know, I don't think we've had one in the United States for 50 years or something. I mean, it's so outrageous, no. you know. And, you know, other countries don't want them either. I mean, it's dirty business. Um, look at this. Just a straight move up, huh? Look at this. Okay, so let me pull this back. It's had a pull back today, but... Oh, this is good. It, it hit a 52-week high today. Yeah, no. It, uh, okay, so it wants to go for this 53 bucks. It's high. Okay. You know, what? It, what is happening here, Rich, is this. You can see starting going back to, uh, what's that, March. March was the last time we had some good volume on this. You know, you can see on the monthly it was 95, and that high high there was 25 dollars. The next month was 30 dollars. It did 69 million. The next high was 34. It did 59 million. So 59 million, 63, and 95. And now we're at 28. That's 28. That's pretty good, though. Hold on. Let me look at this calendar because 28th, let me see. You got, we got 5, 10, 19, no, 14. We have 15 days left out of 21. That's pretty good, man. You know, I would just put a tight stop on something like this, Steve. Um, rich where, man, I'm where sorry. Where would you put a stop on this? I wouldn't give this anything. And okay. the reason, because you can see, just, there was a great question, folks, where do you put the stop? Because when you get a straight line move like that, it's like, oh, man, you know, where do you put a stop, right? Now, 
you can put it under that bar right there. You can put it like a 38, 19. Where I'm, where I'm going with this, this is where I'm going, right? So pitch it. You know, one way, I always like to get those big volume bars. So you get a big volume bar right here. You get a volume bar at 404 you could put it at, right? But then there's a gap. And there's also another big volume bar at this 38. So it's like, okay, if you're going to get some volatility, you know, it really depends on where you get in. I mean, if you, could, if you just get in it, I'd put it underneath the 39.99. If you've been in it for a while, I'd give it more breathing room down to that uh, 38. Where that okay. gap is, yeah. Because th these are always tough ones when it's just a straight line move up. I mean, you're like, okay, so where the heck do you put it? Because what happens, folks, it, has, it doesn't have any levels. There's no floors, you know what I mean? And it's a bummer when there's no floors. I mean, you're in a great trade, though. I mean, so <laughs> that's, 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 you know, that's a tough deal. But Well, if you look at it like you've been talking about Exxon. Yes. It almost looks the same. Yes, yes. And then when you look at rig, th this oil market, my take, this oil market's not going to calm down, and this is why. So picture we have oil right now with the dollar this high, and oil's trading $122.40, Brent. Well, if the dollar pulls back, oil's going to even go higher. <laughs> so it's like, okay, you know, so your probability is that we're going to reach that 147. So that's what I'd keep an eye on, too. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, if we reach yeah. 147, the refiners are going to make even more money. That stock's going to go up more. And then just be aware of it as, you know, we're going up, you know. And, of course, I'm, you know, we're all going to be talking about it every day because oil, there's no doubt. You know, one of the tigers in the den was saying that an F-150 costs like $180 to fill up. They must have a big gas tank. But, you know, that cannot last for a long period of time. It, you know, now what is a long period of time? A long period of time to me would be like six, seven months. I think this can yeah. last for like three or four months pretty easy. I think it can last well, right through the summer without a easy. You know what I mean? I'm seeing it uh, where I live here in Oregon. Uh, there's people waiting in line to fill up. Is there? Yep. There is. So, you know, I mean, you're waiting in line maybe 10 minutes, but the fact is when you pull in and you think, why is this happening? Uh, but... There, you know, there's no, like you said, there's no new refiners that have been built right. in this country. Right. If you want to start importing refined gasoline, the price is only going to go up. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's great feedback we just gave us, though, because what that's also saying is that the bread is still out there. And this is a transfer of wealth, folks. That's what's going on here. Okay. Um, and unfortunately, it's a transfer of wealth from, you know, <laughs> from us to big oil <laughs> to the, you know, to the Saudis to, you know, there's, well, we have plenty of oil men in this country, too, in Texas, okay? But the bottom line is that that's, that's what's happening. And it, the, the good news from where you are in Oregon, Rich, is that people have enough money if they have a line to basically pay 150 bucks, you know what I'm saying, to, to fill up, yeah. you know. But we, and there, you know, everybody's got a big rig out here. Yeah, yeah. It's well, nothing to see, you know, F-250s and uh, the, the 3,500 trucks all waiting in line for their fuel. Wow. wow. Like I said, when you see a line, you know people have got money to pay for it. Exactly. Oh, no doubt, man, especially those trucks they just buying those trucks is a fortune, man. <laughs> well, yeah I, yeah, I got a brother-in-law. I mean, he taught nothing of plunking down 60K. Yeah, no, I know. Wow, that's good. Okay, well, there's the, there's the yin and the yang of the economy, too. It really is, yeah. you know what I mean? Cooking, well, brother. People are screaming, but they're still going. It, it, that's, well, picture this. If we had a store, and there's a line outside the store, and the prices are up, would we go down on the price? No. No. <laughs> exactly. I mean, absolutely not. Exactly. Have a great one, man. Okay, have a thank safe you, one. Tom. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow right now down 289. NASDAQ is off uh, 95. SP is off 46. We'll come right back, folks.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 294, NASDAQ's off at 99, S&P's off 47. And, uh, you know, this market, folks, okay, couldn't get over the highs. Well, you got over the highs and failed on price and volume. That being said, um, bottom line in Congress right now, this is going to be, you know, when we're talking about the, the tech stocks, okay, uh, this is the first time that you've seen Republicans and Democrats get together. And you're talking about uh, two uh, powerful uh, folks here, okay? You're talking about uh, Amy Klobuchar, Chuck Grassley, um, and that's in the Senate, and then in the representatives, you got David Salaney and Ken Buck, okay? That's Republicans and Democrats getting together, and they'll probably get this bill through. If they get this bill through, man, you're going to be talking about Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Microsoft, uh, Facebook, Meta Platforms. Um, they, there's going to be some selling pressure on that, man. And uh, I suspect, you know, that this thing will actually go this time. And why? Because, you know, I'd say the public's fed up with Congress in general. So if they can get, you know, one enemy that they both have, guess what? That'll be good for all of them, meaning getting elected. <laughs> they go after someone and, you know, so that definitely would push. And what, what that's going to be about, by the way, is this. What it's about is that just, you know, like Amazon, it, well, it, it, the thing that, this is where there's going to be a long, drawn-out fight, because I can see 
Amazon is saying, hey, why aren't you going after Walmart? You know, you can make that argument because Walmart has all their own brands and all that. And what the argument is about is that when you go on any of these platforms, they've replaced the third party sellers with their own products, especially Amazon has. I mean, you know, and I, and I can tell you, I'm using it all the time because if you buy the Amazon product, the same thing. If you buy the bounty store off Amazon, bottom line is quicker. It, it's just quicker, you know. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Don't forget about my workshop. You only have till tomorrow to sign up. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. It's a great show, folks. Great way to start your day. Look at them, folks.